What were the results of mission work? What kinds of churches were established outside of Europe? That's a short question, Paul, but it's a huge answer. Um, for starters, I'd just say that uh, the results of mission work are, are st still coming into existence. Um, we find ourselves still in, in what I would call an age of mission uh, in the church's history. Um, but if we look for, for the moment, at this great age of Protestant missions which encompasses the whole 19th century. Uh, I think we can make some, some general statements about that. Actually, uh, we can start this age with the formation of William Carey's Missionary Society in 1792. And where you end it is a little bit arbitrary as well, but I think we could uh, extend this age of Protestant missions at least up to the outbreak of World War I. So we'll, we'll take it up to 1914. That overlaps the ends of the 19th century, uh, both at the beginning and the end, a little bit, but uh, at least that's sort of a rational time frame to, to take a look at. Well, what happens in that, in that time frame? What are the results of this Protestant mission work uh, in India? One way of looking at that is to take a snapshot at the beginning of that period and at the end. Before William Carey went to India, there were hardly any Protestant churches at all outside of Europe and North America. Hardly any Protestant churches outside Europe and North America. By the end of that century, uh, that period that we're looking at, Protestant Christianity had spread to virtually every continent around the world had gained a firm foothold uh, in, in dozens and dozens and dozens of countries among hundreds of different people groups and languages and uh, these churches were often uh, already staffed with indigenous leadership uh, and were well on their way to becoming the sorts of independent churches that uh, men like Henry Venn uh, envisioned with his uh, self-governing, self-supporting and self-extending churches. Uh, statistics are hard to come by for, for this period, uh, but researchers have estimated that in the year 1800, uh, so this is uh, the year after the, the uh, Church Missionary Society was established, uh, William Carey had been in India for seven years, the year 1800, there were about 200 million Christians in the entire world, virtually all of them in Europe and North America. Uh, 100 years later, in the year 1900, uh, the best estimates are that there were about 560 million Christians. So in 100 years, global Christianity had grown from 200 million Christians to 560 million Christians, uh, more than doubled. Now, the reason I started my answer to your question the way I did, Paul, and said that we have to talk about this not just in the past tense, but in the present tense, is that if you extend those statistics up close to the present day and say, what was the world Christian population in the year 2000, um, we find that there were more than 2 billion Christians in the world. Um, of course, the world population had grown significantly, but world Christianity was also growing very rapidly. In fact, faster during the 20th century than it did during the 19th century. But in this 19th century, in this age of uh, Protestant missions, uh, there was a tremendous outpouring of, of energy and commitment and sacrifice and dedication and creative initiative uh, and it was largely successful, not only in absolute terms of numbers of Christians, but in the places that Christianity had taken root. Uh, by the year 1900, there were Christian churches, as I said, on virtually every continent of the world, uh, in virtually every country of the world, uh, often sheltered by the uh, protective power of European colonial governments in one way or another, but not always. Um, the, uh, uh, 
this big picture of overall success, of the spread of Christianity around the world, is often overshadowed or, or lost sight of if we look only at individual cases. Um, I've mentioned several missionaries that, that had very, very difficult times in their personal ministries. Adoniram Judson in Burma, for instance, uh, who left behind a relatively small number of converts to Christianity and uh, suffered a great deal uh, in his personal uh, life and, and uh, for the sake of being a witness to the gospel in that difficult place. And if we just look at his individual ministry, we might wonder whether he was really successful. Uh, but if we look at the overall picture, what he initiated and uh, made it possible for others to follow, we find that the big picture is one of uh, really uh, amazing success worldwide. In just over a hundred years, Christianity had become a truly global religion planted firmly on all continents.